get started with the book of Mark, chapter 1. John the Baptist prepares the way. The beginning of the gospel about Jesus Christ, the Son of God. It is written in Isaiah the prophet, I will send my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way. A voice of one calling in the desert, prepare the way for the Lord, make straight paths for him. And so John came baptizing in the desert region and preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. The whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem went out to him, confessing their sins. They were baptized by him in the Jordan River. John wore clothing made of camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locust and wild honey. And this was his message. After me will come one more powerful than I, the songs of whose sandals I am not worthy to stoop down and untie. I baptize you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen and hallelujah. And that is what we have today. And so here Mark starts off just immediately going into <clears throat> uh, uh, give, providing us the information out of the book of Isaiah from the prophet Isaiah about the reasoning, about the timing, about everything, the whole situation that he was uh, being a part of. And so he gave us just a brief description of John the Baptist. He didn't go all the way uh, back to the birth, uh, kind of like how Matthew did uh, with the lineage of, uh, of Jesus, as well as uh, information about um, John the Baptist. But he just went right into it, right to the point. And a lot of Mark, um, we're going to see that. We're going to see that a lot of it just goes straight to what he sees and what he wants to share with us. And it's part of the Holy Word. It's part of the wisdom um, from a whole nother perspective. Listen to what he says. <clears throat> and, John's, and so John came, baptizing in the desert region and preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And then he goes on to say about John, right? He says, after me will come one more powerful than I, the thongs of whose sandals I am not worthy to stoop down and untie. I baptize you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. Because that is the completion. That is the completion of the law. That is the completion of uh, the task that the Lord our God had already sent out, set out to do. And so... John was baptizing people in the baptism of water as a representation of living water, of the living water that our Lord Jesus talks about. Remember, <clears throat> when Jesus was at the well, we had just talked about that in Matthew, and he uh, ta told the Samaritan woman, um, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but he told her, I am the living water. So uh, there's a lot, there is a lot that we're seeing. And so Jesus represents that. And he represents salvation and life. That is just wonderful. And here's Mark telling us, bringing past to present, is of what we know of, what or what we're going to learn, what we're going to learn uh, for those of you who are joining us and haven't been through the Bible uh, quite yet. Um, but yeah, what we're going to learn that Jesus is uh, in his life, in the reason what, for everything that he did, provided our salvation, uh, forgiveness of sins for all eternity, um, and then he gives us with the Holy Spirit. And we have that today. And that is something that we can draw strength from. We can turn to the Lord and ask for wisdom, for guidance, and we are led by the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> and when we get to Galatians, once again, we will learn what that means about living in the Spirit as well. It's amazing. It's amazing. Um, things that just immediately that I think of um, while bringing past to present is joy. <clears throat> the Lord left us hope and joy and love and fulfillment because he is the, the good shepherd. He, he has never failed and will never fail. And so we get to see that. We get to see just how much he 
loved us and loves us still to this day and loves you and loves you. Um, so just reading over this first portion here, uh, what kind of thoughts or feelings come to your mind when we read over this? How does it make you feel and what does it make you think? 